This is a tree that has a severe infection from the greening and there's a typical signs that we see that a tree has greening. You see that the fruit is still green. This is a Valencia that should be orange. We should be in here picking, but this color is way off. Here you see the small piece of fruit and that piece of fruit won't get any bigger. That's half the size that a Valencia should be right now. It looks more like a lime than an orange. Yeah, and it's not even a big lime at that. Huh. Look at this now, and here's the typical signs that you see when a psyllid bites the leaf. You see how she kinks it when she bites it? Now, I know you commercial guys are working on a lot of ways to control this. Is there anything a homeowner can do? We do have a little program that I've come up with. It's not a cure. It doesn't cure the greening at all, but it prolongs the life of the tree in their yard, and it will keep it producing some fruit that they can consume. Well, that's great, because we've been getting a lot of questions about this disease. Guys, thanks for coming. We just moved here from Pennsylvania about six months ago. We were delighted to find an orange tree in our backyard. And uh, the only thing is I don't know a whole lot about taking care of orange trees. Did you get any fruit from it? Yeah, we got a couple dozen oranges and they tasted pretty good. My wife said they were a little bit off and she's from Florida, so she'd know better than I. What do you think of this tree, Benny? Well, the first thing I see is what we call a yellow dragon. You see right here this limb that's got the small red-eared leaves and, the, and there's an off color on them. That's the first indication we look for if the tree's infected. Oh, no. Now, the second thing you look for is crimped leaves and that's a sign where the psyllid was feeding and when it's feeding, it transmits a disease to the tree. Is there anything we can do to save the tree? Well, we actually have a program that is not going to cure it, but we think it's going to prolong the life and uh, like give you maybe three or four more years of producing fruit and squeezing fresh orange juice in your kitchen. Well, Sounds let's great. get the tools and get to work. I'm ready, let's go. Okay, John, the secret to a healthy tree is we gotta have a healthy root system. Let me dig down in here real quick and just see what kind of roots we got here and how they look when we pull them up. Okay, you see here's one of the feeder roots and there are no white tips, see that? There's no white tips on the, on the new flush and that's an indication to me that the bacteria has already translocated down into the root system and these roots are no longer feeding this tree. Now take a look at a healthy root. Can you see all those nice light growing tips? Mm -hmm. That's what we want to have on the tree. So the idea now, John, is to cut this root and generate a new root flush. So what we're gonna do is just take this shovel and go down about four to six inches, work our way around. What we're doing is going along right at the drip line of the tree and severing the roots. Now, any live root we sever will generate a new root system, making the tree stronger. About a third there. Okay, here's what we'll do now. We'll just take our hands and we'll spread this out as best you can. This is a composted cow manure that has equal parts of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium, all from an organic source. This is full of beneficial microbes, and the idea of the beneficial microbes is to help rebuild a healthy root system. This brown organic sugar is actually food for the microbes, and we're trying to increase their populations as fast as we can. For a tree this size, I want to sprinkle two cups in the root zone. All right, our final step now is to brew some compost tea. We're going to make a foliar spray onto the leaves for added nutrition. I use compost teas at home on lawns, plants, and even vegetable gardens. This is a very simple procedure. We just take a bucket with about three and a half gallons of water. We take one pound of the compost that's in this cup and we're going to pour it in this sock. Okay, and now we tie the sock in a knot at the top. And all we do is drop it in the bucket. It goes right to the bottom. And now we just add this little aerator and we drop it in and it sinks all the way to the bottom. And the pump itself is simply a fish tank pump. That's correct. It's just putting oxygen in the water so the microbes, as they hatch out of this compost now, they have to have oxygen to survive. And how long will you aerate it? We normally do it for 24 hours. Okay. Here you go, looks all nice and brown. Yeah, that's what compost tea looks like after 24 hours of brewing. So what we're gonna do now is take the aerator out 
add one cap full of molasses. What does the molasses do for it? It actually feeds the microbes. It's food for the microbes. I'll set for you. Okay, now I'm just going to take this little paint mixer on the on my drill here and I'm going to stick it down in here and I'm going to aerate it for about 30 seconds. All right, I've got the compost and I'm just going to fill this tank with a hose and sprayer pretty close. Yeah, that's good. Let's take and drop the filter in there. We'll just screw it in there. All we're going to do is cover the leaves with this spray. Well, top's pretty well covered. Is that all we have to do? Well, actually, that's all we can do for right now, but we anticipate in about 30 days a big flush of new leaves, and this is going to be very attractive to the psyllids. They're going to move in and start feeding on this new flush. So we've got neem oil that we're going to actually be spraying. This is a organic pesticide. It doesn't kill on contact. What it does is it smothers the eggs and the nymphs, and that's how we reduce the population of the psyllids. Why not just use a chemical pesticide? We don't want to take a chance on hurting any beneficial insects like bees that might be on the tree. Well, thanks, guys. It looks great. I'm looking forward to seeing how it does.